very nice to be here. Thank you. Uh, last night, oh, last night I went out to dinner. I had a nouvelle cuisine, which it seems is a French word that means child's portion. <laughs> I ordered ravioli. They brought out a ravioli. <laughs> I was actually, I was on a date. I, I'm single. I was on a date. I don't actually like dates. Um, dates where I go out and act like someone I'm not until the person likes me enough to be who I actually am. <laughs> That's if it goes well. You know, after an hour, I can go, all right, um, looks like we're getting along pretty well. Um, this whole thing about me listening to you when you talk, <laughs> I don't want to do that anymore, okay? <laughs> I, uh, I live in New York. Uh, I think I've given up on the war on crime. I, I have a sign now in my car that says no radio. I'm, I'm leaving notes for criminals. That's what it is. It's a little note for a criminal. No radio. We don't arrest them anymore. We correspond with them. <laughs> Sometimes I leave a longer note. No radio while you're out. Bob called. <laughs> I think if crime gets any worse, soon the middle class is going to start turning the upper class. We'll start leaving signs in our car. No radio, but the guy behind me has got a good radio. <laughs> all in all, I, I, would, I would have to say that life is a lot more difficult than I thought it was going to be. I just thought being a grown-up was going to be so great. I don't know. I just, I'd be a grown-up. I'd get to stay up late every night. Now I'm a grown-up, and I'm really tired. <laughs> I'm, I'm not a morning person, that's for sure. My last girlfriend was a morning person. She would wake up in the morning and um, talk. You, you morning people, I actually have a question for you. You wake up in the morning, you start talking. What are you talking about? <laughs> what, what do you have to say you couldn't have said right before you went to sleep? There, there's been no new developments in your life. I, I would think if you planned ahead, you could leave us all alone. She, she would always wake up saying, I, I had a dream. No, Dr. Martin Luther King had a dream. You're just babbling about nothing. It's 8 o'clock in the morning, unless you know traffic and weather, shut up. <laughs> Good. Good. Glad I have your support. I'm a feminist, uh, intellectually. Emotionally, I'm not quite there yet. Uh, like, I was seeing this woman, she wanted to have breast augmentation surgery. And uh, besides the obvious medical reasons not to do it, it's a purely philosophical question. I was pretty conflicted about what to say. You know, sh should I say to her, I don't think you should do that because you'd be buying into a male objectified view of what you should look like? Or, or should I say what I wanted to say, which was, when you go pick him out, can I come with? <laughs> I, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I, I didn't say that. I, I said, I think you've underestimated the negative effect on your self-esteem that living in a patriarchal society has had upon you. <laughs> what, what I was thinking was, I hope she gets big ones. <laughs> I can understand her, you know, her insecurity. I, my insecurity, sex. Big, uh, I always want to do very well in bed. Um, not so much because I care about my partner, but because I feel that all women know each other. <laughs> every, every woman I've ever slept with, 10 minutes after we have sex, she gets out of bed and says she's going to the bathroom. I think they make a conference call. And I should try and enjoy sex more because I, I think about it all the time. I, I, there's really only one time in my whole day I'm not thinking about sex. That, that's right after I've had sex. <laughs> that's why I like sex so much. I mean, I enjoy it, but more important, I need the time to think. Uh, <laughs> that's when women like me, right after sex. You know, I say something and they go, I never knew you thought that. And I go, I never knew I did either. <laughs> I've been so preoccupied trying to get over on you. I had no idea. I don't think women know this, though, because right after sex is when you always say to us, guys, what are you thinking about right now? This is not a good time to ask. During the day, you ask, and we're thinking of you. Well, right after sex, I'm usually lying there going, I should plaster the ceiling. I have let that go. I think that's the way it works. I think Albert Einstein had sex, rolled over, and went, e equals MC squared. Oh, honey, if we could do it again, I can make an atom bomb. I know it. <laughs> it's been a pleasure to talk to you. Thank you very much.